Tonight on a story that has many of our viewers fired up. As we reported this week, a Cape Coral veteran says she took it very personally when a car burglar stole her military uniform, and she wonders if they might end up in the hands of imposters. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg digging deeper into a troublesome trend. She's live in the studio tonight. Lisa. Amy, these people pretend to be war heroes to get everything from cash to better airline seats. It's called Stolen Valor, and tonight I went to an expert to ask how you can spot these phonies before they take advantage of your patriotism. They put their lives on the line serving our country, and instead of respecting them, some impersonate them, like this guy from Tampa. Well, they take off our uniform. Who appears to be wearing a fake army uniform to collect money or this Alabama woman at an airport claiming to be returning home from deployment. Both imposters. We have people that are posing as veterans all the time. Ralph Santillo of the Veterans Foundation in Cape Coral says these phonies play dress up to dupe you out of your money. People open their pocketbook and open their hearts to veterans. It's something veteran Amanda Goodland Negrete worries will happen to her uniform stolen out of her car this week. I have heard a lot about stolen valor recently. And she can't imagine the symbols of her years in service and so much more on someone else's back. I worked really, really hard to get that uniform and I, I did spent a lot of time in the military and my husband died for that uniform. Now she's getting help from the Veterans Foundation to track down her stolen valor. They're asking whoever has them to bring them here to the Southwest Florida Military Museum in Cape Coral. No questions asked. Break a leg and get here. And be ashamed of yourself for what you did. A shameful scam that Santillo says you can help stop. Ask him for their serial number. Everybody has a serial number when they're in the service. It's something you never forget. I've had mine 60 years ago and I still remember what it is. Now, posing as a military member to try and get money or other benefits, it's a federal crime. And you could face fine or even jail time. Again, if you have any information about Amanda's uniforms, let the folks at the Southwest Florida Military Museum know. Live in the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.